Well, the troubled north-south corridor will soon be serviced by 26 more buses in a bid to attract commuters back to public transport. If the trial works, the increased services could become permanent. Chloe Fox is adamant ongoing woes with the north-south corridor and its troublesome provider Transfield have turned a corner. Our complaints have really dropped. Uh, we have not had to find Transfield. They've really picked up their game. Boosting her confidence, a trial lease of 26 new buses to be operated by Torrens Transit and Transfield subsidiary Light City Buses. So we have more services, we have new timetables, we have new buses. We're really investing in this system. It will cost the government $8 million, but it's willing to pay a lot more if it's successful to buy or build the equivalent number of buses. Obviously we'll be looking at our budget. But the opposition says it's just another patch-up job after the initial tender was botched. Quite frankly, they've got no credibility on this whatsoever. Chloe Fox has missed the bus. Well, in retrospect, we can all change things, can't we? Some things for the better. The free city connector service to be extended in partnership with Council, kicking off just after the Tour Down Under and a one-dayer against England at the Oval. Why start something on the 27th of January when we know that everybody needs it on the 26th of January? It's just a pity we couldn't start sooner, but it's a matter of availability of vehicles and preparing the routes. Tom Richardson, Nine News.